Are you coming out? All right, I'm, I'm going the normal way. Made out of wood and it's still in the air. It's it's heavy. I've carried it. It's heavy. Not that heavy. It's a good one. For you, it's not. I'm low and show you. Okay. Hey, what? I'm coming low and fast. Okay. Only sixty. Could you imagine seeing a, a life-size one? We did, and we went to the air show. That's why I have this hat. I'm in C3. I know. No, like seeing a life one, a life, like a life-size one in war. Oh, this is one of planes knocked down the most planes during World War II. Doesn't get a lot of credit for what it did. The ones that do get credit is the whistling death. Yeah. You heard Gary? He's coming in. Or was a witch, one was like a vampire. And they're like carrying a bomb. Oh, my little princess is. We're witches. Yeah, you got to do it so funny. And then he comes like. Yeah, they put it in the ground to bring her back. They put a spell so she'd come back. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh freak! Alright, let's go 
Okay, got no, it. no, no, wait, wait, wait. All right, so here's the damages on it. Nothing really. I mean, these scuffs were already there, so it's not a big deal. I was planning on painting this eventually white anyways. Nothing happened to the bottom of the fuse. Nothing really happened there. The only thing that really happened, as you guys saw in the video, is just the gear ripped. So this one broke. That, I had repaired this one already once because it, it was delaminating here. So now I'm just going to rebuild this whole thing, and I'll fix that. That's not a big deal. Um, I already went to the store got me some, some ply. So I can fix that good. This one, believe it or not, nothing happened. It pulled the gear out. Now this is broken, but I have a spare one of these, so it's not gonna be a problem to fix, right? Um, as far as like you saw on the wings, what I did here on the wings for this plane, right, is these are built out of plastic. Um, those simply green, simply orange or simply lemonade, whatever. And then I mold them with a heat gun, right? And then I put them on the edges of some of these planes, especially with these with the tight gear in the middle. And so basically, this is where it hit. So nothing happened to the wing besides this, which shouldn't really be too bad to fix. The gear is still in good shape. Now, this is messed up, the plastic. So um, the housing for the gear, but I have a spare one because this is, I had two, two sets. Um, thanks to Hamilton's hangar, he had sent me another set and I have a spare set. So I'll be able to repair that one or replace that one and then repair this one out of two gears and make one. And then nothing really happened to the strut per se. So we're gonna be all right here with this strut. And then the other strut, I already put it back together. So I just gotta make sure I tighten this up a little bit more and use some, some Loctite and stuff like that, but everything should be good. So really, I uh, got pretty lucky with this one. So we'll put it back together and she'll be back up in the air. I feel like I slowed down. I was trying to hit that edge of the runway. I normally land that plane fairly slow and land on three wheels, um, but definitely missed the runway. And the edge of that runway is really sharp. So with it being sharp like that, then, or, or like the edge there, it hit right perfect and it caught that gear and it just really threw the plane to a little spin, but not a big deal. I have it fixed. I'm probably gonna order a new prop, even though this one's not bad, it's just, obviously you got a little bit right there for where it got but these master air screw props are very strong so nothing really happened i could probably sand these down and get this thing back up and actually fly with that prop so anyways how's your happy life things happen we just got to fix it and keep it moving